Hi, uh, I'm going to here show you the uh, Yaesu 5000 FTDX uh, 5000D with the SM5000 monitor, which is uh, right here. So right here we're looking at the uh, band on 20 meters with the uh, uh, SM5000 uh, monitor. You can see the signals are out there. I have the 5000 integrated with the Ham Radio Deluxe. I got a Ham Radio Deluxe on a 28-inch LCD screen. And uh, so you can see the radio and uh, the Ham Radio Deluxe. Also connected to the 5000, I have the uh, LP pan. And the LP pan is running the uh, power uh, SDIF stage. You can see it up here in the corner. It'll tell you the model, uh, 5000, 19.3.5. And you can see here, I'm running the, uh, I see over here the LP pan, the band pan adapter. And this is the uh, waterfall connected with the two. So uh, this is what you got here. And over here, I can change the frequency here. If I change the frequency here on, uh, on the power SDR using the LP pan, it also follows along with the uh, Hammer Deal Deluxe. And, of course, the radio uh, VFO follows suit with it, too. Uh, also over here connected up with the setup, we have the Yezu DMU unit. And right now it's on the world map. I'm going to change that over to the uh, RF scope. And we'll just change it. So you can see how the RF scope looks here. And uh, we're on 20 meters right now. You can see the signals, signals out here. And we'll come over here and look at the LP pan. And you see the LP pan... The signals are more defined. Uh, it's real time. I'll turn the volume up on the radio so you can hear. So you can see how I have the filter set up here. That's set up for a 3KC, the whitish in the background. That's 4KCs, 3KCs. And this person here we're listening to is a little bit narrower than uh, 3KCs. The LP pan is real time on the pan adapter. Whereas over here on the DMU, there's a slight lag on the uh, RF scope on the pan. Same thing with the SM2, SM5000 uh, monitor scope. There is lag to it. The Yezu 5000 here, it actually has the, uh, it actually has an IF output. So the IF output on the Yezu 5000, uh, easy to hook up. You hook up a, a, a a wire <clears throat> BNC connector and you hook it up to the uh, LP pan in the LP pan now uh, you can get one made for the Yezu and then you just download the software here when you uh, you have the system here so what I wanted to kind of show you was the difference between an LP pan which is this is it right here and the software download is free you buy the LP pan adapter and you have to buy a sound card and you can, this is the Ham Radio Deluxe integrated and uh, this here is the DMU unit. DMU unit, although it's nice, you know, you get some different features with it. I can do the, uh, I can do the world map here, and you can see the gray line on the world map. We can do the, the RF scope, which was just running. I can do the uh, AF scope, which uh, you can see how that looks. We can also, he also has a logbook. You can also do the plot the SWR. So this is my SWR here on 20 meters. And uh, you can see the line at the bottom. It's about a one-to-one. -one. It's a hex beam I'm running. And uh, you also have the rotor. You can connect up your rotor to this here. Uh, like this here, you can connect up. Some of the Yezu rotors can be connected directly, so you can turn it with that. And uh, and then also uh, we'll go back to the, uh, to the RF scope there. So there's the RF scope. You can adjust the RF scope for how fast and how big a path you want, but basically I got mine set for, uh, this is set for 500 KCs right now. So it's looking a pretty, pretty big uh, span here. And uh, on my LP pan, I actually have that set for about, uh, I think I got that set for about, what, 20, 20 KCs here. So 20 KCs for me, it gives me a pretty good view of who's around me and what's going on. So there's a demonstration, the LP pan. Uh, integrated with Ham Radio Deluxe with the uh, Yezu uh, FT5000 uh, DX there, or FT5000D. 
and along with the uh, DMU unit, all all working together. They all work no matter what freak, what radio or whether you use ham radio deluxe, the radio or the LP pan to change frequencies. Everything changes together. They're all integrated. When you hit, hit a button on one, they all follow suit. If I change bands, like this here, if I come over to here and it was to change band for 75, you see it goes to 3861. And this one's on 3861, and the and the DMU unit followed suit. They all follow suit uh, along with the radio. So that's how it looks integrated. LP pan, uh, very very nice addition. Uh, one of the benefits for getting the Yazoo 5000 in very easy hookup. Thank you.